Wearing a religious habit is a really effective tool for ministry and evangelization. It's highly visible, clearly religious, and just peculiar enough to elicit questions and conversations from otherwise non-religious people. And while this can be a great thing, wearing a habit can also be a complicated, dangerous, or even embarrassing ordeal if we're not careful. So come follow me for some pro tips from someone who's made all the mistakes. For most people, stairs are a complete non-entity. We walk up and down them every day so often, we don't even have to think about what we're doing. In a full-length habit like this, though, stairs become a perilous climb that could result in serious injury, or worse yet, the embarrassment of another friar seeing you stumble. <laughs> to avoid this, simply grab the cord and the habit by the side, lift a few inches, and walk like normal. It's safe, it's easy, and it's a little bit more subtle than the two-handed approach. This is a men's habit, not a ball gown. Whether it's for salt right in front or the main dish an arm's length away, reaching across the table can be a very messy, annoying experience. To avoid accidents, some like to roll up their sleeves all the way before they sit down. But this doesn't exactly look the greatest, and it's not actually foolproof. Instead, what I do is I always reach with two hands, one for what I need, and the other grabbing my sleeve. If I want to be extra careful, I simply move what's in front of me out of the way and grab what I need. After a good meal, there's often another task that the fryer has to take care of. And this is not exactly one you want to get wrong. While there's often intrigue and wild speculation as to how we go in our habits, it's actually quite simple. All you do is lift up the habit in front or lift it up over the shoulder. And then you go as normal. The important thing is to keep a firm grip. If you lose track of this thing in here, that's when accidents happen. And if you think people won't notice, trust me, they will. Now, if you excuse me. Originally, habits were made out of very thick wool, making them ideal for winter weather. Now, being quite thin, they're pretty useless when it comes to cold weather and snow, and we need to wear either sweatshirts underneath or coats on top. And depending on the type of jacket, putting it on without embarrassing yourself is an art form. <laughs> There are two things to be aware of, the sleeves and the hood. Both can get bunched up. What I do is I unroll the sleeves and I put one in first, making sure this isn't bunched up here. And then with my free hand, hold my hood in the back as I put through the other one. Ta-da! But luckily for us, it's 80 degrees out, so I don't need this. Since friars are mendicants and not monks, our work is out in the world. And because the world is a growing, busy place, that means we need to take a car. And as you can probably guess by now, this is not as easy as it looks. If you're not careful, there are two things that are likely to go wrong. The first is that you'll be all bunched up. And the second, is you'll get caught in the door. This is embarrassing to say the least and incredibly inconvenient if it's raining or snowing, but can be avoided with one simple step. Just fold in the flaps and sit normally. When you get in, just undo them like normal and you're on your way. And finally, just as no day would be complete without some time spent in prayer with our God, no video about the habit would be complete without mentioning the awkward task of kneeling. While certainly not as dangerous as walking up and down the stairs, and definitely not as embarrassing as having an issue in the restroom, it is the one task that I continue to mess up even today.
With so much extra fabric, it's almost impossible not to get it caught under the pew, step on it, or have it stepped on by the person sitting next to you. Even if you remove everything around you, it can still be difficult. The key to it, really, is just taking your time and making sure you lift up the habit. When you kneel down, make sure that it's not underneath the kneeler. And when you get back up, watch where you step. And it's that easy. And so there you have it. Franciscan friars are taking time bombs of embarrassment and danger ready to explode. And I'm okay with that. Because I don't wear this habit because I'm afraid to get hurt or embarrassed. I wear it because I want to remain radically available to God's people whenever and wherever I see them. Because I found something in this life that I want to share with others. And because it reminds me of who I am and who I'm not. And if in the process, some people get to enjoy a laugh at my expense, all the better.